one thing that I've seen a lot of my colleagues go crazy with, which is inserting a table of contents into a document, um, in uh, memos or briefs. Doesn't really matter any kind of document. It's um, <clears throat> well, it seems, well, it looks kind of complicated when you see it done. It's actually very simple, very easy to do. I'm going to show you both on the um, PC and the Mac in Word 2007 and Word 2008. First, we'll take a look at 2007, which is for the PC. Go over here. I just have a document that has a, there's pretty much no formatting on it. Everything is in the uh, normal style. The way table, tables of contents work is that they pick up a certain kind of um, character style, in the, and they're called headings. Heading 1, 2, and 3 are automatically picked up in the, in the, um, inside of the uh, ta automatic table of contents. So to get a table of contents, all we have to do is designate certain things as heading 1, 2, or 3. So here's, there's one, heading one here, heading two here, and we'll do this one as heading three. All you have to do is get the cursor in the line of text that you want to designate as that heading. So we've done that, and we want to insert a table of contents. I put the cursor where I want the table to appear, and I go to references, tables of contents, and then there are two automatic tables built in and a manual table. I use the automatic tables because they're faster and easier. To, um, I just click on the one I want and then press it and there you go. It inserts the, tables, the table of contents. Now if you don't like what these headings look like, they're pretty easy to change. Just click on, uh, on this heading one, go back to the styles. So you see here, this is normal. This is t heading one. Just simply right click on that and then click modify and then you can go in there and change the everything about it. You can change the color, you can change the size. Okay, and then what's nice is it automatically changes everything designated as heading one. So you can change everything in your in your in your memo or brief all at once and be sure that it's all uniform, which is another great use of styles. I think styles are probably the most important thing about Microsoft uh, Word. And now the procedure to do this uh, and once I have the document created I, the table of contents created I often put a um, put a page break in here to keep, give it its own page so I'll just go insert go to insert tab on the ribbon click page break and that way it gives it its own its own page and then that's it you can also insert cover pages but this we're, now we're getting deeper into things there's a whole bunch of pre-formatted pre cover pages that you can you can use um, for your documents you can also add your own to that but now we're getting a little too deep into this. The procedure is basically the same on for a Mac. We'll go over to on the uh, on uh, Word 2008 for Mac, and I have the same document here open. And uh, we start with the um, to see the style designations. We click the inspector, which is right here, and then it flies out. And you can see that the heading styles and the default heading styles for 2008 are basically the same for 2007. So do that. Heading one, heading two, heading let's say three, and heading three. Oh, we'll get this whole word here. The problem with selecting something is it will only pick up what you select. It's better just to put the cursor in the line. And then go back up to where we want the table. In this case, there's I have to insert a hardware. No, oh, there it is. Um, to get the table of contents in there, I'm going to close out the inspector. Quick, click Document Elements up in the bar here. And then up here are the, the choices of what you have. You have cover pages, table of contents, headers, footers, biographies. So here we just go to Table of Contents, click on the one we want. It's the first one, and there it is. And that is all there is to, um, all there is to it uh, with um, tables of contents. It's very, like I said, it's very easy, it's very simple, it's all based on styles. One more thing I want to show you about styles, which I have noticed that Word 2007 has, but Word 2008 on the Mac seems to omit, are quick styles, which are very nice. You can see this right here, what's going on here with change styles next to this, the, the uh, styles um, part on the menu bar. If you go to style set, these are all quick styles. As you can see, they change everything automatically. So you can go from basically nothing to something that looks like this. 
in about three seconds, which is very nice. So it's worth uh, playing around with. So that's it, and I hope that um, automatic tables of content save you a lot of time and effort um, when you're writing your documents, and that's it. Thanks.